everyone. It's me again, Crafty Cricket. Only I don't have my Cricket sign because somewhere I put my Cricket name tag somewhere in safekeeping and guess what? I can't remember where I put it. Anyway, I was the one, remember, that wore this in my video last time, this beautiful dollar store hat that I only paid a dollar for. And now I have on this beautiful hat, which was not from the dollar store, but I still like it anyway. Matches my blue eyes. So I'm here today because I have to share something with you with my craft room. So enjoy. And there's my telephone. It's been ringing all day. Okay, people, I found the picture I was looking for. Here it is, me and Ryder, the singer from The Lost Trailers. I think he's super hot. He's got muscles, too. I've seen him in concert, and he is awesome, and the rest of the group as well. And I also have their autograph. So that's exciting because now they have songs on the radio, or at least a song I know of. So good luck to them. And that ends it for my craft tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone. Until next time, keep crafting. Okay, here's my surprise of my craft room. <gasps> but wait, it looks like my guard took a pounding. He's all disheveled. What in the world happened? The sign's still there, no crafters beyond this point. But poor Mr. Uh, guard here, looks like he took a beating. He doesn't even have his gun anymore, he's missing a hand, and his glasses and nose are all falling off. Wow, let's go inside and see what's going on in here. And here's my kitty cat, she's meowing, she's going to show you around too. Okay, here is my creation station. Everything's been changed around here. Now I know what happened with that guard. Someone busted in here. And they gave me a makeover. Yes. Look at this. Can you believe it? I've got more cabinets now and countertop. And a brand new table in the center. This is awesome. This is my dream come true. I've been dying for extra cabinets. Instead of those old racks that you may have seen. Those black ones. Well they weren't really old but. The room just looks so full. Now I have more craft space to craft. And here is my computer center. I call it the black area. Everything here is basically black. There's my printer, my computer, computer tower, and some other little drawer thing that's black, and my nice stereo that holds four CDs, which is also black. And here is all my papers. Well, not all of them, but some of them and then I have a little drawer thing here on wheels and then I have a cabinet full of crap and then I have oh I have this nice picture of me with the lost trailer some of you people out there may know who the lost trailers are but I was fortunate enough to get my picture taken with them at a concert back in April so when I fit right in with them anyway here is my cricket station I mean sorry cuddle bug station and there goes my cat giving you a tour. Poor kitty cat, though. She's um, in early stage of kidney failure, not to put a damper on this tour, but I'm glad she joined us for the video. I'll have some memories of her. Anyway, back to the tour. Um, we have, um, well, I have, actually, these little drawers here with all my extra cutout pieces inside. And they're all labeled, and here's my doll stuff. And Christmas ones, and you get it, and... I love these little drawers. Look at all my little paper packs stacked inside the nice little cubby hole. And then here I have all my like eight and a half by 11 papers stacked by colors. And I have a little kitty cat there or doggy. I don't even know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a dog though. And the cat's rubbing up against me. And I have cabinets full of stuff. There's my bind it all, chisel it, and all kind of other things to craft with and check this out look at the blue teeth on this dude it's my weird shaped not weird shape but smiley face magnets with blue teeth can you imagine 
That guy's got to brush his teeth more often. Anyway, I made this little spice rack with monkeys. I actually had it on eBay for sale. No one bought it. Don't ask me why. I thought it was really cute, so at least I got to keep it. And it has all my supplies in the little bottles. And the labels are wipeable. So you can wipe it off with a dry erase eraser and rewrite or whatever supplies are in there. Then I put on this back door here. I have a whole bunch of greeting cards which came in a pack from Costco's. My brother was so nice to buy it for me. And it's all those handmade looking type cards. So I put them there so I, I could kind of get ideas for my own card making purposes. And then in here, in this double door cabinet, I have my scrap papers in the drawers that are labeled by colors. As you see the drawer fronts, I've put paper across them as to what colors in each drawer. And then I have other stuff in here, kind of like shoe boxes full of other craft paraphernalias. And then I have another little craft shelf I made down here with all kind of craft bottles of crafting supplies. And as you remember, my wall of stamps is still here. My other wall of stamps still here. Man, I can't wait to use all these stamps. Now that I got my whole place organized, I'm going to go stamp crazy. And I have my stamps all along the wall here, up at the soffit, as I take you along the tour. And then around the room to here, we have some more stamps and stamps and stamps take a ride on the stamp train but anyway that's that's about all my stamps but i do have more in drawers but i think you remember that from last time i'm going to show you that again I'm trying to make this quick as possible and painless and then i have these shelves put up because i had the dead space and i couldn't really fit any cabinet there so my husband and i decided to put on some shelves so we made like a three tier three different size level shelf and what I did, got crafty, and I put paper, regular craft paper, on the outside edge of the shelf, which is hard to show you it because it's white with pink and green um, design on it. But I just cut strips of paper just to decorate the front of the shelves so it looks a little prettier. Then I have little shelves here with these brackets I love from Lowe's on clearance for $1.98. They're silver. They're really cool. And then I have a bookshelf here we put up with all my crafting card idea books. And another book up top. I mean, sorry, a shelf up top. And then in the corner here, I have my Lazy Susan with uh, my little Skittle collection. It's kind of a big collection. And then I have this stuff up here, my office supplies. And this one here is empty, so I still got room to buy some more stuff to put in there. So I think that's everything. I think I showed you everything. There's my kitty again. Oh, I forgot to show you my cricket area. Here's my cricket area. You people all know me from cricket.com. This is my bus station here. Here it says Cricket Pen Station, which is this little station right here. Then we have Barnes and Cricket Bookstore. And we have all the Cricket handbooks in there. And then we have the Cricket Tool Terminal here. And it has all my overlays for my uh, Cricut machine and the tools. And then we have the Cricut tour bus, of course, that takes you around to see all this lovely stuff. And there's the side of the bus. And then we have the back of the bus. And it holds my cartridges. And they're made, this bus here actually is made out of ice cubes from the dollar store, one of my favorite shops. And one last picture I need to show you is, um, wait, what did I do with it? It's a picture of me and one of the Lost Trailer guys. I cropped it so it would be just the two of us. And guess what? I have no idea where I put it. But it was really good because it was a close-up picture of the two of us. I hope I find that thing. So anyway, oh, and one last thing I want to show you. Okay, here we go.